Yo. Oh, man. I can kind of tell you. I'm trying to make it through it. I'm trying to make it through. Mm. I'd like to welcome y'all to another one take review. Uh, Matthew Vaughn back for the second start on the Kingsman. Uh, me for one. I for one. Uh, I don't know about anybody else for the first Kingsman. I didn't. It was like out of nowhere for me. I, I had no idea what it was about. I, I didn't know it was going to be that good because that movie was absolutely fantastic. If I'm just going to be honest, that movie was fantastic. I'm probably going to watch it now. Uh, it's late and I need something to watch before I go to sleep. I'm probably going to watch it now. But Kingsman 2 came out tonight. I had to go check it out, of course. Uh, and for me, uh, it was it, it was a little bit of the same. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't think it, it hit like the first one because I think the first one didn't have any expectations and then the second one has such a big expectation, of course you, and then you're going to compare it to the first one on like the first one was out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? And this one was like, it was fun and exciting, I would say that. And I feel like the, it was a big grand scale, but at the same time, I felt like it's, it wasn't as good, you know, I hate constantly like comparing movies to like the predecessor the one that came before but it wasn't it wasn't as good as the first one it was still a good movie still has some pretty good laughs it was like some some stuff in there in this one you just pretty much like Ew. uh i guess i'll talk about a couple of things i pretty much i ain't gonna say didn't like but you know yeah pretty much, i guess i say didn't like one is the fact that Shannon tatum is really not in this movie like he's in it maybe 15 minutes. Like he has one fight scene that's probably for like 30 seconds, 30, 35 seconds maybe. And that's it. Like I thought he was more, because the way they, because they, because this is about them going to, you know, with the statesman. That's the case, but at the same time, it's really not. Like if I'm just being real, uh, and also, I really could have did without Harry being in this. I would have rather they took Harry and kept him dead and just put, uh, what's the name in this? Uh, more Channing Tatum, a team up between Egg and, and Channing Tatum. I would have been completely fine with that. But like I said, it, it, it seemed like the, it was a more grand scale. And in the way, something I do like about how these Kingsman films have been going, the first two, the Samuel L. Jackson uh, character, and also uh, Julianne Moore's character, uh, Poppy, they seem so, they, their villains are so freaking weird. And it's just so different that <laughs> they're not like, any villain from you see from anything they're like they're, they're like normal people at the same time she really didn't feel like a threat to me and i think that's kind of where it was like okay, okay. she really she said i just always felt like a threat because he, you know what i'm saying loose cannon he quick to be he got people on the side who do it. and listen she had somebody on uh, her right hand man the guy fucking i'm gonna call his ass fucking cable because that damn metal arm that was dope but I, I just really wanted, you know, and exit perfect. Uh, they, they got kids at their role. Uh, I, I really think, and like, it, it, like I said, it was some some fun action scene. I don't think we really had nothing as good as the church scene, because I think that's like one of the best scenes in any movie ever. Like any movie, like it don't matter what it is. And also, these movies are these movies are starting to feel like superhero movies. And like they, they kind of mix the superhero mix with the like Fast and Furious, you know what I'm saying? But like, like I said, it, it was fun though, you know what I'm saying? I really, cause I feel like maybe it was a story that didn't just get over, get get over, like you know what I'm saying? Like the first, one. it was a story, cause the first, cause it kind of had like the same thing. They kind of like re back and redid the exact same thing, but in a different way. But at the same time, it's. Cause you're gonna look at some stuff, you're gonna be like, I need a time frame on something. Uh I actually do think they left the they left the door open for a Kingsman 3. I don't think Matthew Vaughn will come back and do that one. Uh but I would I would go see it. I would definitely go see it. Like, like I said, this one wasn't as good as the first one, but I feel still feel like this was a solid 
good good time at the movies. Like this was a damn good time at the movies. You gonna see a lot of shit. And believe me, it's a it's some shit going on. I'm talking about from the jump, the very beginning of this movie. They take you right into the action. And then there's some shit in between, but action, action, action. Big climax at the end. The climax at the end wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be. Uh from from for a few different reasons. You know what I'm saying? I felt like Julianne Moore's character Poppy needed more to do at the end. I feel I felt like she needed because she's the big bad in this thing. She's the main villain. She's the main antagonist, but I feel like she needed more to do at the end. But overall, still a good movie. I'll see it again. I probably won't go to the movie and see it again. We'll come up. I'll just be chilling in here one day, and I'll definitely watch it again. So, uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys seen it, let me know what you thought about it. Leave a comment down below, you know what I'm saying, with your thoughts or, or your disdains, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Uh, hit that like button too. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, link to all my other social media outlets in the description. Y'all just rock with your boy. I'm out. This is... Uh, what what I got coming up tomorrow? Tomorrow I don't know if I'm going to see Stronger or not, but I know I'm gonna have my Lego Ninjago move up. I mean, what's the name of tomorrow? I gotta go see that. Like, it, it wasn't showing tonight, so that's why I saw uh, uh, Brad Status. You guys go check out that review too. I just posted that before this one, so yeah, go check out my Brad Status, which was a very 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 excellent movie. Be a uh, Lego Ninjago will be up tomorrow, and also I might see this movie called Strong Grind. I don't know. We got some scary movie out too, but I did. Uh.